Okay, so if you've tested your macros, you should have an empty sheet now. Your chair sales should look like this. I may have too many because I've done this too many times. I'm not sure. We want to insert a macro button now. So the easiest way to do this, you can mess around and get fancy with a bunch of stuff, which I spent too much time doing. Just pick something that you can draw inside because remember, part of the instruction is to label it. So we want to say shape fill, no fill. Um, we want to outline it so that it looks similar to the rest of the form. You know how I feel about color, but we're going to do it anyway. And now we want to insert text, but in order to do that, we have to put a text box because you can't put text in a shape without a text box. And we want to put what it is. This is for print order. We want to send the text box backward so it's behind the shape, and we want to make sure that it fits within the shape. So just mess around until you make it work. And then we want to click on the shape, right click, assign macro, choose this workbox, workbook, print order, say OK. And do the same for the next two macros. Once you get that all done for all three buttons, you want to make sure that you have all sheets protected. And here's another important part that some people miss out on. Save as you need to change the type. It will automatically default to an Excel workbook, but that will not save your macros. You need to change it to Macro Enabled Workbook and then save it with the appropriate name and you're done with this part. What you need to do now is uh, test your macros, make sure that they work and if they don't, troubleshoot them. I've given you all the tips, tips I can. Everybody has my text if you need to call me or my phone number. Um, good luck. Seems like you're doing well.